community needs you. Two hours and this is it. Parents in this small South Carolina town demanding answers from school officials. Due to the ongoing investigation and the student privacy laws, we cannot share specific details at this time. After a fight between two fifth graders in a classroom turned deadly. Authorities have revealed few details. It's unclear what led to the fight at this elementary school Monday, who witnessed it, or when school officials intervened. But when paramedics responded, they found 10-year-old Renaya Wright unconscious in the nurse's station. The altercation, classified as simple assault by police, sent Renaya to a local Walterboro hospital. She was then airlifted to a hospital in Charleston, an hour away. Two days after the fight, she died. School officials say one student has been suspended, but it's unclear if that student was involved in the fight. Authorities have not filed any criminal charges. Renaya's mother, Ashley Wright, tells me she believes her daughter was the victim of a bully at her school here in Walterboro, but that is not yet a determination that authorities have made. Ashley Wright tells me she's not yet ready to answer questions on camera or speak publicly, but her father, Renaya's grandfather, tells me violence was not his granddaughter's way. My granddaughter? She was a good girl. For as violence or anything like that, she never would do that. The Wright family issued a statement Friday demanding change. Change that, quote, addresses the reasons that a child would openly express anxiety about attending school. Change that addresses legitimate fears that a child has while in the school building. Change that addresses bullying and teasing and the collateral damage when those behaviors go unchecked. One school board member says... It's not that easy. We're going to have to look in the situation, look at the situation and see if, if, if there are any avenues that we could take in order to make our schools even safer. As Renaya's family plans her funeral, the Walterboro community plans to continue pushing authorities for answers. They are expecting us to let this go. But what they messed up is they got the wrong group of people. Yo, YouTube, YouTube. What's going on? Trey back again. Did you with a video. Now, I hope you all are having a very good weekend out there. And I want to salute everybody that's part of the Trey King Show family. And also, I want to send out a very big shout out to the homie Daz Dillinger, the rapper and stuff. Big shout out to Daz. Thanks for sh showing all the love on IG, Instagram. And also, to the person who has sent uh, some money through PayPal. Unfortunately, I do not have a PayPal set up. I do not accept donations or money. So, I will be sending you back that money. I think the person's name is Leo Saga, and you say your grandmother, Miss Dorothy Keys. Big shout out to Miss Dorothy Keys. She watched the show, and I want to thank you all for sending that. But unfortunately, I do not have one set up. But I will be returning that to you all if you all haven't got it uh, back yet. You will get it today because uh, I appreciate what you've done for us giving me some money to help. You know, with what I do with the people, which I don't record because I, I don't record what I do. But I use my own money to do that but thank you all for doing it but we have another story and this story comes out of south carolina and big shout out to everybody in the great state of south carolina everybody in columbia everybody in charleston north charleston everybody in mount pleasant and rock hill i know it goes down in rock hill it sounds like that's a place where it goes down there but anyway we have a story and it's long overdue and i'm sorry but i was just waiting it's the reason why i wait on certain stories because i know i know it's gonna be some bs yes yeah, some bull Shitta involved. And also, I want to send my condolences out to the Wright family, to Miss Renaya White, mom, and also to everybody that's around her, that's in her circle, family, friends, loved ones. Because it's a damn shame that these kids cannot even go to school. Just like the last video I did earlier today, it showed where this child in St. Louis was going to school and was raped by his own assistant teacher. And the teacher is just now bringing brung to justice and gave his child HIV, sodomized his child in a classroom next to the classroom that he was teaching the child in. So these children, it seems like the world is getting worse and worse. And it's up to us uh, adults, if you will, whether these are our children or not. We should look at these children like all of them are our children, because I feel if we all look at it like that, that, you know, we'll be more prone to raise our voice and try to protect them because the children or our future, like Whitney Houston said. You got to teach them well and let them lead the way. I'm not going to get into the song. You already know it. But anyway, now, this story about the fifth grader who was uh, beat up. They say it was a slap contest. I don't believe it was no slap contest. Because last time I checked, I don't know too many 10-year-old girls, 9-year-old, 11-year-old girls that can slap that hard. Now, unless 
they had a big old husky ass girl. Yeah, you know y'all got some of them big old husky daughters, them big baby bears and stuff. And no offense to the children, but mama, y'all, come on now. You know you got some slim kids out here. You got some husky ones, big old fat jaw like baby Rockwallers walking around. Anyway, now let's, your child was 14, 15 year olds in the fifth grade, which <laughs> that, that's possible. I think it is. It used to be. It shouldn't be able to put forth enough damage and hurt the hurt a 10 year old child like that like how do you sit up here and number one also before i get into that thought where was the teachers at doing this slap fest they call it but i do not believe it was a slap fest and all this started with this child miss renaya white ever since this little girl was in the third grade and it's been reported but the school said the mom did not report it that this child had a bully that was basically harassing her antagonizing her picking on her Ever since the child was in the third grade, like two damn years, you're going to keep picking on me. And it's a sad situation. You can only take so much. But it seems like to me the school district over there in South Carolina is trying to cover up, if you know what I if you know what I mean, about the situation. Saying that this child, Miss Renalia White, died of vessel rupture, uh, what they call an AVM arterial venous malformation in other words when you have your group of your your blood vessels they get tangled up and all this other stuff and i don't know what the hell that damn means you see some people that had them little red spots in their eyes because most of them have ruptured blood vessels and stuff now i'm not no doctor or anything like that i leave it for my people that's in the medical field my people who know things about health to in a comment session to further explain it but they say this child was basically uh, dealing with this hemorrhage, it was it was a, it was caused from a birth defect. Now we all had not we all, but most of us had some kind of birth defect. Mine was having a heart murmur, which is a irregular heartbeat. Sometimes you get uh winded kind of quick. Even though I got better than that, because I had to as I got older, if you know what I mean. But uh, certain things you grow out of. So they want us to believe that while they had this slip slap contest, uh, allegedly Miss Renard White and whoever this other bully was, that some kind of way. Ten minutes later, after she went to the principal office, she started feeling dizzy, started getting headaches. All of a sudden, she lost consciousness. And then, next thing you know, she died. I refuse to believe that. And it's also said that the students reported seeing and stating to people that they seen the child, Renaria White, basically hit a bookshelf, fall down, and that what knocked her unconscious. See, they want us to think that she was conscious when she went to the principal office. I don't believe she was conscious then. I believe she lost consciousness as soon as she hit her head on that bookshelf and that's what i believe but they're trying to say that all oh, this was over a slap and a slap killed this girl now true it might can because anything possible in this world some people badass breath would kill you you feel me or at least it feel like it but i don't really believe that i'm gonna read a snippet from this story and i'm gonna get my opinion surely as we go south carolina fifth grader renaya white died of natural causes prosecutor says damn they quick to wrap this damn case up in the other case that they would have been little John Bernay Ramsey. They still talking about John Bernay Ramsey 23 years later, almost 23. But anyway, my condolences goes out to the right family. It's a sad situation to send your child to school just for your child to wind up dead by the end of the day. That's a crying damn shame. Now, South Carolina fifth grader Renaya White, the girl who died last month after a fight at her elementary school, died of a blood vessel rupture. They saying this is what they telling us, the bullshit they feeding us. Died of a blood vessel rupture in the brain stemming from a birth defect and there's no evidence to fight uh or despite that contributed to her death which saying that is the reason why she died that's what they're saying like this is the definite reason don't have any shadow of a doubt this is the reason why she died because of a blood vessel rupture it, a prosecutor has said this friday now the death of renalia wright who was 10 years old at the time little young angel beautiful little girl could have been anything in life Visually took out by some little baby husky bear, I bet. I bet this other little girl was husky in a joke. She probably whooped my ass. Let me hush. Will be attributed to natural causes. They said they're just going to attribute it to natural causes in a report next week. And no criminal charges will be filed in the case. So my daughter can get killed at your school. The school not liable. I can't sue the school. I can't sue the school board. I can't uh, get the child in trouble because the child's a minor. And I can't sue the parents. Well, damn, then what, what the hell? Why, why, why am I sending my child to this school then? So when something happened to the child, y'all can just throw any damn thing out there and we just supposed to eat that shit up. Like we can't think for ourselves. Think for yourselves, people. That's all I'm trying to say. You know, question everything. Question me. Question every damn thing. That's why I read some of these stories out so we can see what the hell they saying. Because this is the shit that they really hoping that a lot of people don't do is read. 
They just want you to just listen to each other and, and you just go off of that. No, put some facts out there. Now, they say no criminal charges will be fall, filed, excuse me, in the case. District solicitor Duffy Stone told reporters Friday, and anybody named Duffy, I'm not going to listen to him because every time I hear Duffy, I think about Biggie and Puffy. There was no evidence of trauma or on inside of the body of Renaria Wright. Like how they wrote that? There was no evidence of trauma on or inside the body of Renaria Wright that would indicate that any fight in any magnitude contributed to her death. So, so you want to suggest things about her having this uh, allegedly birth defect, this AVM condition that she had, that all of a sudden, because I have headaches too, I had two concussions. One was a car wreck, one was playing football. I have huge migraines and stuff. I can't, I can't take no light. I have to sit in a dark room or in a hot tub. I'm, I'm serious. It's, it's crazy. But it might feel like I'm dying. I had migraines so bad to my nose start bleeding. You know, because migraines bad as hell. But it ain't never killed me not of yet. So you mean to tell me that you want us to believe that this child just all of a sudden just dropped dead right after a fight? Despite the students said that they seen her hit her head on a bookshelf real hard. And do you want us to be, believe that she was able to go to the principal office and 10 minutes later she go unconscious? I believe she was already unconscious. I wish, I wish that some people, you know, well, it can't be anybody. You got to get the parents permission, of course, to question the children. They said they already questioned these children. And guess what? The statements come back. All of them said the same thing. This bully would mess with the girl and the girl you know what I'm saying? Hit her head on a bookshelf. But I'm saying, how can you sit up here and let a child get bullied for two years, ever since the child was in the third grade? I wouldn't have that shit. I'd be up there raising hell. I'm not saying that the mama didn't go up there because I'm quite sure the mama did because she sounds like she loved her child. And the reason why I say that because a lot of these parents, you know, quite a few of them don't give a damn about their children. Look at the videos I did before you say, well, Trey, you wrong. Stone said at a news conference announcing the initial results of the investigation and two, the young girl's death. Stone said he made the determination after a pathologist and other doctors conducted postmortem tests at the Medical University of South Carolina where Renaya died on March the 27th. Renaya was involved, this is what they said, in a five to ten second slap fight. Who, who slap fight? These girls ain't slapping fighting. These girls balling their fists up or they clawing the shit out you. And them little husky ones, they fight like this. You better go watch World Star. Them little kids out there getting it in. I done seen a gang of little kids with a whole grown ass man. About like twenty of them little jokers got on that man. Now they say that she got in a slap fight, and that's what contributed to her death with another student in a classroom at Forest Hill Elementary. But they're not mentioning the word bully. But when it's other people, you throw the word bully out there. But when it's certain people, so evidently the child that she had a fight with must have been black. Also, let's just keep it real. <laughs> Now, they said that she was involved with another slap fight in a classroom at Forest Hill Elementary in Walterboro on March 25th, and a teacher separated them. So where was the teacher at before the fight took place? I'm sure the teacher was in there, because why would these little kids be in there, and there's no teacher in there? Now, I've been in the fifth grade. I've seen people have fights in the class. Hell, I used to have them in, in a hallway, on the playground. You better ask somebody. I used to get down out there. Thank God. Thank God. And he spared me because I'm telling you, I could have been dead sleeping in my grave. Colton County Sheriff R. A. Strickland. Let's see how strict he is. It must not be too strict. Let these damn little weak ass <laughs> diagnosis come our way. Talking about this girl just bumped her head. You ain't too strict. R. A. Strickland said Friday, Renaya had no signs and spoke of no injury. She probably didn't speak of no injury because the kids say when she hit that damn bookshelf. She lost consciousness. How can an unconscious person talk? Oh, I forgot they ain't going to include all that. But complained of a headache about 10 minutes later at the principal office. He said, now, do you see how they word this shit? You feel what I'm saying? You see how they word. That's why you got to pay attention to the words. They get you with the word. That's why they, they, why they make these doctor's letters 20, 30 words long so your ass won't understand it. That's why they feed you a bunch of bullshit so your mind won't comprehend it. Because you keep hearing this, you be hearing this, and you forget what the hell you really thinking about. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's important to break these stories down the way they are. Because listen to what he said. He said she did not have no sign, even though the students say that she knocked herself out on that bookshelf when a bullet, you know what I'm saying, pushed on her. She felt on it some kind of way. Either way it go, the bullet had something to do with her hitting the bookshelf. So she has no sign now. And she's a female. She don't, she, she just don't bruise at all. 
and she didn't say anything, but she complained of a headache. And 10 minutes later, all of a sudden, she just lose consciousness and she drift on and dies. May she rest in peace. That sounds like a bunch of funky baloney. Authorities have said she then lost consciousness and medics took her to the local hospital. She later was transferred to the Medical University of South Carolina in Charleston, where she died. Colton County School District Superintendent Franklin Foster said that the Wright family had their deepest sympathies. He told reporters Friday that the officials found that district employees acted appropriately. Notice, see, notice how they lined up where the school is not liable. It's not liable. They said he told reporters Friday that officials found that district employees acted appropriately, which taking them out the blame, which taking them out of being sued because they did everything that was right. Okay, let's let's backtrack then. Then what was the hell? Where in the hell was the teacher at when it was having this five to ten second fight? Because trust me, this. How fast can you get up and run from one side of a room to the other side of the room? I bet you can do it in about a few seconds, some of you all. Now, for you older people and you old, you bigger people out there that's big boned, so they say, or got a lot of ass, because you know it takes a lot to move all that ass. It might take y'all a few seconds, but I'm sure most teachers between their 30s and 40s can get to the other side of that classroom in four to five seconds. I know mine got there in like three seconds. You only get three good hits in. That was it. You better be the first one, what we call like Tiger Woods. Teeing off. Don't let nobody hit you first. You better hit them. You better hit them back. Shit. All they talking about. Well, hit me first. Somebody knock the shit out your ass. You be laid out. You better get on, get it in first. I'm telling you. Especially if it's a bully. Bully should get stitches. Period. Let's continue. Now they said that the employees acted appropriately, which would further, uh, remove them from being liable for a lawsuit and safety procedures were followed. See how they do this shit? Were followed during Renaz. Medical emergency. We did everything right. The school did. The medical did. Well, okay, okay, okay. Well, explain to me again why you all not mention the word bully and why you all didn't mention in this segment that this child was bullied ever since the third grade. And also, why didn't you all mention that the students was in the classroom? Because it's not like this happened like in St. Louis where the child or the other child went to another classroom or in that case in St. Louis where the teacher took a child to another classroom. No. This fight took place in front of everybody. You, you know how I go in fifth grade. You just stand up and you just go for it. So you mean to tell me those kids lying? You mean to tell me those kids lying? It's true, some of them may be lying, but not all of them. Not all of them. Uh-uh, I don't believe that shit. Now, Renard's brain had an arto, uh, arterial venous malformation, or AVM, a tangling of vessels connected arteries and veins. Stone said, I thought all our damn uh, vessels and, and arteries was con connected. That's, what, the, what the hell is that? I thought they all was connected. The condition disrupts normal blood flow. Okay. Meaning the surrounding tissues may not get enough oxygen. Well, she got oxygen all these damn years. She's been on this earth for how long? 10 years or something? She got oxygen every single day of her life. So all of a sudden, one day, she go to school. Big ass husky bear bullet jump on her. She hits her head. Oh, she don't have oxygen no more. You know why? Because the girl knocked the damn oxygen out of her when she hit the damn bookshelf. Ineffective vessels. Vessels, excuse me, can rupture, the Mayo Clinic says. Now, it apparently caused headaches that the girl recently saw treatment for. I'm telling you the truth, but they don't give a damn about you in this country. The rupture was ready to take place just about any time. This sounds like they're writing a damn movie script. They're like they're not even talking about a child. Where's the compassion? But let that be one of their child. You feel me? For those of you out there who think this shit is a joke, let that would have been one of your children. I guarantee you, you you, you want to hear everything. Feel me? Because you want to be up on game and stuff. Because they'll feed you a crock of shit, I tell you. And the fight did not have anything to do with her passing away. Notice they keep putting it in there. Let me backtrack that. Let's calm down for one second so we can go and finish up. Because I get excited when I talk about these stories. Because Trey loved the kids. Like Trick loved the kids. Marty Martin, Martin Lawrence loved the kids. Trey loved the kids. Because they deserve a chance. You feel me? It's, it's not it's not their fault that you have teachers sit there and watch kids fight. It's not their fault that you have a school district trying to cover up a child being viciously beat. It's not their fault that this child, I mean, it's not this child's fault that she was being picked on ever since she was in the third damn grade. And that couldn't have been me. I would have been bust that damn bullet head. It apparently caused headaches that the girl recently sought treatment for. Her. But... Pause. The day the child went to school, the mama said the child didn't even complain of no headaches. So who's telling the truth in this situation? Would the mama know her child better than the damn school? 
you be the judge. The eruption was ready to take place, they say, just like the volcano. Just like they keep saying Mount St. Helens going to blow again. It's ready to take place. But when? Just about any time. And the fight did not have anything, anything to do with her passing away, Stone said. I'm telling you the truth. Now, you can't see the picture that they're playing, that, that they paint. You can't see the brush, which is a wide brush. They're using wide strokes. They're trying to cover the whole damn field. But guess what? I got some paint thinner. I'm here to throw some paint thinner on that shit so we can see what's really behind this painting that they're trying to put up. And guess what it is? <laughs> Not liable. You might see a painting out there of some grass, but guess what? You throw some paint thinner on that shit, but you can see clearly? Not liable. That's what's behind it. Stone said Renaya had visited a doctor at least six times related to headaches since February 2017, including 13 days, <laughs> that number 13, before the fight. So, okay, so Stone, since you know all this, Mr. Stone, why is the mama saying something different? Why is the mama saying that the child didn't complain of no headaches that day? True enough, we all get a headache here and there, especially these kids, this badass food that they feeding them at these schools. You go have a damn headache. All that soy and sodium and salt in their food, yes, yes. You're going to have a damn headache. So you mean to tell me, Stone, that you know this child, Miss Renaya Wright, may she rest in peace, better than her own mom? Uh-uh. Let's finish up. Stone said Renaya had visited a doctor at least six times because of related headache illnesses since February, which the mama didn't even say nothing about. The headaches are a manifestation of the condition, he said, uh, adding. It was a matter of time. Well, damn, I had headaches in my grand and, and, and I'm going to go? Tell me, damn him, I'm going to go, Lord. That's all I want to know. And if I go, I want to die on my toes. You know what I'm saying? Just, 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 you know what I'm saying? Give me my stripes. You know what I'm saying? And put my, and put my stripes and my stars on my chest. And tell the mother that I did my best. You feel me? Let's finish up. Now, Margie Pizarro, an attorney to Renaya's mom, Ashley Wright, said the family didn't know nothing about the girl's condition. I'll leave the link so you all can check this out. Let me let me just say this one more time. Margie Pizarro, an attorney for Renai's mom, said the family didn't know nothing about the girl condition. But this is supposed to be a birth defect, which is supposed to be logged in because on my records, it has heart murmur when I was young. So why don't I have AVM, arterial venous malformation on Miss Renai White? birth certificate or when she go to the doctor, however they do it. You know, it might not be on a birth certificate, of course, but when she go, her medical records. So who's lying? Okay, let's finish. Wright said on the morning of the fight, her daughter was in good spirits and didn't complain about a headache. When reporters asked whether the fight could have affected her condition, including whether the stress led to the rush of stone, said they, yeah, that stone is now, not the mom, they, pathologists and others who examined Renaya, listen to this bullshit that they paint had no signs whatsoever that the fight had anything to do with it. And I'm going to leave it at that right there. I'll leave the rest of that shit so you all can read it yourself. It's a crying damn shame. Open your eyes, people. That's all I'm trying to tell you. That's all I'm trying to tell you. And I'm telling you like this, you know, if you're able to homeschool your tr your child, and if you can, because you got to know something to teach, teach your child something, don't take it the wrong way. I will advise homeschooling my child. At least you won't have to worry about no teacher infecting them with HIV. At least you won't have to worry about them dying in the school Basically covering the damn shit up and want to feel some bunch of mess and stuff. We should look at these children like they all are children. That's all I want you all to get from this video today and also question everything. But you just can't go off of what other people say. You have to look at what the news say because the same thing these news use, these clippings, they use that same thing in court against you. So when they sitting there running this shit down, you just be dazed. That's why they got all of it like that. See, the truth is simple. The lies is complicated. Remember that. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely share this video with your family and friends. And once again, my condolences goes out to right now you're right she's in a better place she's with the most high right now sad as that may sound and also to her mom you know i would definitely look into this and i would sue what we call what's the word i'm looking for come out your butt yeah i would sue the shit out of y'all stay blessed have a great day i'm out